large, overflowing ministry that brought mighty revival in the Middle East, Dubai, and still continues to overflow, imparting love, life, and life in abundance in Christ Jesus to great multitudes in many nations. Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, Jesus always loves you. As we come to you from in my Father's house, Jesus is the head of the house. The Father God owns the house. Holy Spirit leads the house. So in all humility, I come to you in Jesus' name. And today, as we learn, Holy Spirit is the teacher. Holy Spirit and his anointing is the teacher. And we are going to learn what is God's will for me in my life. My Father God, my Father God's will for me in my life on this earth, on this earth until rapture and eternal. Many people spend a lot of time wondering what is God's will for me. What does God essentially want from me? This really worries a lot of people and sometimes causes a lot of concern to many people. So, what the Holy Spirit put in my heart and teaches me to teach us, teach all of you all, multitudes, what is the Father God's will for me? Essentially, importantly, the first and the foremost front line, I would say, first and foremost front line will of God our Father for me is that I become his child, that I become his child. And how does that happen? It's through Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus. Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me. 
John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the door. So, John 10, verse 9, Jesus said, I am the light of life. John 8, verse 12, why does he say? Because he loves you, he loves you, he loves you. He wants everyone, anyone to become the child of God the Father. Anyone, everyone. So God the Father's will is that we become his children through Christ Jesus. The door is open. The way is open. Jesus Christ. He loves everyone, anyone. So it's very simple, easy. It's not burdensome. Only believe like a little child and receive. You lose nothing. We lose nothing. We only gain heaven. We gain heaven. Oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Only believe like a little child, Jesus said. Believe like a little child and receive. That's the will of God the Father for us first. Secondly, he wants us in to believe in his son, Jesus Christ, that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, shed his blood, forgave us, pardoned us, saved us, rose from the dead, defeating Satan, sin, death, hell, curse, and all hell. He rose with his body, ascended to the right hand of the Father, and sent the Holy Spirit into us, to be with us, to be in us, to lead us, to lead us on this earth in life, in life until rapture and eternal. Believe in Christ Jesus. Believe in Christ. That's the will of the Father. My dear children, and belong to him. Belong to Christ Jesus. It's, it's not just believing for some purpose, for some blessing. No, it's more than that. Belong to him. We believe in Christ Jesus, not for some miracle or a blessing. Certainly everything will follow, everything will follow. But we must belong to Christ Jesus. And eventually become like him. While we live on this earth, while we live on this earth, in the likeness, in the image of Christ Jesus, until rapture and eternal. That's a daily process. It's a moment by moment, every moment, that is a process happening in our spirit, soul, in our life, in our bodies. Our body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body becomes the residing place of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit lives in us, in our hearts, minds, and in our bodies. He is the spirit of Jesus, that we belong to Jesus and we eventually become like him in our character, in our nature. Second Peter 1 verse 3 and 4, Ephesians 4 verse 11 and 12, we must become like Jesus in character, in nature, in our life, in our lifestyle, in our ministry, in our ministry. My loving children, our nature must be Purity, purity, love, humility, oh, every fruit, every fruit of the Spirit. So we must believe in Christ Jesus. We must belong to Christ Jesus and become like Jesus while we live on this earth, full of love, full of mercy, full of holiness, full of His kindness, all the fruit of the Spirit, full of His power, certainly full of His power, until rapture and eternal. To believe in him, belong to him, and become like him. Then thirdly, O oh, beloved ones, when we live and while we live on this earth until rapture, we must consciously be aware of the blood of Jesus. That's the will of the Father. That we think of the blood of Jesus all the time and thank him, thank God for the blood of Jesus, thank Jesus for the blood he shed for us. And talk of the blood. 
It's very important. Many people, it's a much neglected subject, even in teachings and prayer meetings in churches or everywhere. And I urge you, my dear ones, think of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for us. The blood that forgave us, saved us and gives us life and even today gives us victory, triumph, protection and speaks of good things on our behalf even now until rapture and eternal. Oh, the blood that made us the children of the living God. The blood that opened the way for us to heaven. Hallelujah. The blood that redeemed us, forgave us, pardoned us, protects us, gives us victory and triumph victory and triumph on this earth until rapture and eternal. Think of the blood of Jesus, the holy blood that washes away all our sins. Even today, the blood that was shed for us 2,000 years ago by the power of the Holy Spirit and the word of the living God washes our sins, cleanses us whiter than snow. Psalm 51 verse 7, Revelation 1 verse 5, 1 John, 1st chapter, verse 7 and 8 and 9. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Think of the blood. We are well protected by the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Our homes, our families, our child, children, our generations, our ministry, our jobs, everywhere. It is because we forget the blood of Jesus. It is because the, we forget the blood of Jesus Christ, the defeated Satan, the defeated deceiver, the defeated deceiver Satan takes advantage, tries to creep into our mind, our thoughts, brings fear and doubt and worry and tension and depression, loneliness. Oh, beloved ones, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Think of the blood of Jesus Christ. And what do you do when you think Thank him for the blood. Thank Jesus for his, the blood he shed for us, his holy, holy blood that saves us even now until rapture and eternal. Oh, we have a life to live more years on this earth until rapture and eternal. Think of the blood, thank the blood and talk the blood in churches, in prayer meetings, in our life. Talk the blood of Jesus. Think the blood, thank the blood Talk the blood of Jesus. This is what the Father wants in our lives. Oh, that's his will. Hallelujah. He loves you, loves you, loves you no matter who you are. When you think of the blood, thank the blood and talk the blood, we will triumph in life on this earth until rapture and eternal. We will triumph in life. There won't be losses. It's not silver and gold and money. No, it's the blood of Jesus shed for us. Hallelujah. Dear ones, he wants us to receive his mighty, powerful, precious, loving Holy Spirit in our lives. Without the Holy Spirit in us, we can do nothing. He is the one who is around us, comforting us, strengthening us, giving us the wisdom of God and the knowledge of the Lord and bringing the fear of God. Fear means not to get scared or frightened, but to have the reverence, reverence and the respect and the honor for our loving God, almighty God. We must know him as how who he is. He is almighty, our creator, our savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Holy Spirit only reveals Jesus to us. Holy Spirit only reveals the greatness and the mightiness of Jesus to us. He is our glorified God, risen from the dead, seated on the highest throne in heaven to save us, to save us until rapture in midday with him. Jesus and eternal in heaven in our Father's mansions with Jesus. John 14, verse 2 and 3. So the will of God, the Father for us, is to receive His Spirit. Without the Spirit of the living God, we won't understand this word. We won't be able to believe this word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing, hearing the word of God. 
And Holy Spirit only brings this word into our hearts to believe. He causes us to believe. Oh, he brings the faith, faith into our hearts to believe the word of God. We must receive the Holy Spirit. It's only with the Holy Spirit we can be a witness to Jesus. We can become like Jesus in our life, in our life, in our personal life, our ministry, wherever we are. We must become like Jesus. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the world. The love of Jesus, love of Jesus and the character and nature and the life of Jesus and his mighty power must come out of us. It's only through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is holy, holy, holy. So we need the Holy Spirit to become like Jesus. While we live on this earth, while we practically, practically live on this earth in the coming more long years until rapture and eternal, Holy Spirit, we must receive him. Then only we can be a blessing to others. Then only we can be a light in this dark world. Then only we can show Jesus to others. Then only we can show the love of Jesus and manifest the love of Jesus. Jesus manifests himself through the Holy Spirit in our lives. We must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit wants to come and live in us, live in us, inside us. So when we receive the Holy Spirit, oh, we become like Jesus. Oh, in love, in life, in power. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Jesus said when you receive the Holy Spirit, you will receive power. And you will become my witness. You will become my witness. We need the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. He is the Spirit of the Father and the Son. So God the Father wants everyone to receive the Holy Spirit. It's very simple. Just believe Jesus loves you. His blood was shed for us. And ask the Holy Spirit, he's just waiting for our invitation. He's just waiting for our invitation. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He will bring the love of the Father and the Son into our hearts. His mighty power. Oh, will heal you, deliver you. Wow, we, we will study the Holy Spirit and his love and his power in the coming weeks. But the will of God is that you and I receive the Holy Spirit all the time, all the time. He loves you, loves you, loves you. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we can represent Jesus to the world for those who are in tears, those who are in pain, agony, those who feel lost, those who are broken, shattered, crushed, those who are in sin, condemned, those who are abused, victimized, those who feel hopeless in life, homeless in life. Jesus loves them. Jesus loves them. He shed his blood for them. And he works through the power of his Holy Spirit in us, in us. So Holy Spirit is we need to reflect Jesus, to represent Jesus and to resemble Jesus to reflect Jesus to others, to resemble Jesus and to represent Jesus in this world until rapture and eternal. Oh, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. The will of the Father is that we prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. That's the will of the Father. He wants every one of us to prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. What a loving Father we have. What a loving God, Jesus, our Savior, our Lord we have. He wants us to prosper. Now prospering means it's not just amassing wealth and silver and gold and money and showing off. No, 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 no. Prospering is to have the peace of Jesus in our lives, the joy of the Holy Spirit and the righteousness of God. Righteousness means to be right 
in the sight of God all the time. We can't do it alone. We can't do it. We need Jesus, his blood, his word, his Holy Spirit to lead us so that we are right in the sight of God all the time so that we will find favor with God and favor with man. The Bible says, the Lord God withholds nothing from those who walk uprightly on this earth. We can't do it by our strength, our intelligence. We are nothing. It's only by the Holy Spirit, by the word of the living God and the blood of Jesus. God wants us to prosper. Prosperity means it's a measure of peace and joy and righteousness. And every other thing will be added on to us, added on to us. Whatever we need financially, health, anywhere, family will be added on to us. Our cup will overflow. We will lack nothing. Life and life in abundance, John 10.10. 10. Long life, well satisfied with salvation until rapture and eternal. Psalm 91, 16. Psalm 23, verse 5 and 6. Yes, holy we need. God wants us to prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. That's important. It's how our soul prospers. So he wants us to to believe in this word, believe in this word, receiving the Holy Spirit, submitting to the word of the living God. He wants us to obey him. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my words, obey my commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandments. Oh, his commandments are not burdensome. Holy Spirit helps us strengthens us, comforts us, leads us in the Bible to obey the Lord Jesus. Obedience is greater than all sacrifice. Just obey like a child. Obey like a child. That's the will of God the Father. Then our soul prospers. Our mind, our thoughts, our will, our emotions, our Bodies will prosper. Sickness and disease will just go away. Death is defeated. Curse is defeated. Jesus is risen. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Rejoice. All your fears will go. The Lord doesn't want us to live in fear or doubt or stress. No, never, never. He wants us to have the peace and the joy and the righteousness. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He wants our soul to prosper and our health that we lack nothing. The Bible says he's our good shepherd. He's Yehovah Ire, our provider. Genesis 22 verse 14. John 14 verse 14. Jesus said, whatever you ask me, I will do it for you. Whatever you ask me. John 14, 14, John 16, 23, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, on that day, on that day, whatever you ask my Father, in my name, in my name, he will do it for you. So, we are living on that day. The blood of Jesus has been shed. Believe, that's the will of God for you. Jesus is risen. Believe, he is ascended with his body to the right hand of the Father. He has all power in heaven and earth and the defeat and hell. Jesus Christ who loves you, loves you, loves you. Believe and obey and obey and obey. If you love him, you will obey him. Then you will prosper and be in health until rapture and eternal as our soul prospers. No more fear, no more fear. He is our provider. He will provide for you everything you need. The Bible says your heavenly Father knows what you need. Matthew 6, 8, Matthew 6, 32. Holy Spirit says, My God will supply all my needs according to the riches of His glory. Philippians 4, verse 19. 
our God will supply all our needs according to the riches of his glory. Fear not, fear not. Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Only believe, only believe. Obey, receive, receive, receive. That's the will of God the Father for you. Cheer up, my loving children. Many times Jesus said, be of good cheer, be of good cheer. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. And he wants us. As we have repeatedly said, but you must know the will of God the Father. It's not the will, it's never the will of God the Father that you should be suffering and in, in sorrow and pain and agony. That's not the will of the Father God. His will is that you be healed. Jesus said, it's my will be thou healed. By his stripes we are healed. He took our sin, our disease, our death, our curse, all works of darkness on himself. It's never and not the will of God the Father for us to be suffering with pain or sickness or disease. No, it is the will of the Father that we are healed. His name is Jehovah Rapha. He says, I am the God that heals you. Yes, he is our healer, deliverer. But we must believe that's the greatest will of God. We must believe like a little child. And the word of God is there. Just believe this word, read this word, read this word, hear this word, hear this word. Faith comes, Holy Spirit brings the faith, faith into you. And you will have the victory. He wants us to receive life and life in abundance practically on this earth until rapture and eternal. Yes, he wants us to live a life of victory and triumph over all the defeated evil on this earth until rapture and eternal. Yes, he wants us to live such a blessed life to bless others, to bless others, to bear the burdens of others. That's the will of God. Jesus said, love your God with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. And Jesus said, love your neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself, as yourself. Forgiving others, blessing others, bearing the burdens of others, bearing the burdens of others, carrying the tears, wiping the tears of others, wiping the tears of others, or oh, showing the love, manifesting the love of Jesus, love of Jesus to others, bearing the burdens of others until rapture and eternal. That's the will of God. We are the light of the world and the salt of the world. Yes, forgiving others, blessing others in Jesus' name, blessing others in Jesus' name. Yes, that's the will of God the Father. Forgiving, the, Jesus said even forgiving our enemies, those who, who do things against us, forgive them, forgive them, bless them in Jesus' name, bless them in Jesus' name. Then we will be the children of God. Then we will be the children of God. Matthew 5 verse 44, 45. Jesus said, be perfect as my Father in heaven is perfect. That's the will of God. Matthew 5, 48. Jesus said, be holy, be holy as I am holy. Yes, 1 Peter 1, 15. That's the will of God the Father. Jesus said, be merciful, merciful as my Father in heaven is merciful. Luke 6, 36. So rejoice, rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. We have learned the will of God the Father for us. I'm going to ask him, beloved ones, just before I close this session, wind up this session, we will continue, continue until rapture, always until rapture. Just brought a couple of magazines just to show you. These are signs, wonders, miracles, magazines in our ministry, full of testimonies, full of miracles, healings, signs, wonders, miracles, magazines, signs, wonders, miracles, magazines. So many of them, so many of them my dear children, full of signs, wonders, miracles, all testimonies, testimonies, credible, documented testimonies. Jesus lives, Jesus lives, Jesus lives. He confirms his word with signs, wonders, miracles for his glory, for his glory. It's all him, for his praise, his glory, his honor. I'll ask him to do it now. Lord Jesus, I humbly come to you, Father, in Jesus' name. Let your hand be upon your loving children every one of them. 
Let your will be their life, Lord. Let your will be their life. Let your will be done in their life. Let your will be their life. That they will rejoice and rejoice all of us until rapture in midday with you, Jesus, with our families, our generations, and eternally in heaven with you, Jesus, eternally to live forever. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your will, your will is our life. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. See you again, see you again always until rapture, until rapture. See you again always until rapture and eternal. Amen. Emmanuel comes with a grandmother. For the past seven days, kwa, kwa siku pita, eight days, he had swallowed this coin nane, here. It's a 200 shillings coin. Memeza, eh, ya the doctors had given him a diet. Uh, limpa but he couldn't just take it out. Hakuweza kuitoa hiyo this morning, leo, uh, when they came here, apa, he felt like he wants to go to the bathroom. Akajisikia kama vya natakio kuenda tena bafuri. And when they went to the bathroom, walipo kuenda choni, he passed to, aka, aka weza, and the grandma said, let me just look around. Aka tag, uh, bibi aka sema, ngoja niangalie, ametoa nini. He saw this 200 coin. Ndipo aka yona hii shiringi miambiri imetoka. Lift your hands to Jesus. So this little baby is called Jared. And you can see he still has the IV line yes, in yes, his hand. He, he was suffering from severe asthma. Mm. From when he was a month old. And tonight he is totally asthma free. This is the mother and she's testifying he can breathe normally. Oh, no. to she is breathing. Since I came to pray, but the whole last month I cannot sleep the whole night. The mm. baby is shaking. Mm. But now I can see the baby is okay. Wow, the baby is okay. Oh, he is well. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.